What's good, BookTube? How's it going? This is Theo. Thanks for joining me. This is Rekindled Reader, and I want to give you guys my mid-month update for September, kind of an important one. No intro, no nothing. Let's go ahead and get into it. I usually start with books, but this time I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be away. As usual, in the timestamps down below, I'll go ahead and split the stuff up in the categories so you can sift through and watch the important stuff to you. Uh, but basically, let's go ahead and start. So update, I'm going to be away from September 17th to the 24th, call it a week in the middle of the month. I'm recording this a little bit early. Uh, I'm leaving very, very soon. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up. I am going to pre-record and hopefully edit some videos so I can have some content trickle out. I will let you guys know further in the video in the content and channel section what kind of videos you can expect. Um, but that's basically it. So I'm going to be away and uh, I'm going to be having some time reading. I'm going to England with some family, with my wife to visit her family. More of a family trip than a, than a pleasure trip, but we will have some time to ourselves but not a whole lot of reading time, I don't think. I'll read on the plane probably and read on the plane back, but you know, a little bit here and there. So I'm not too sure how much reading I'll get into, but on that note, let's go ahead and talk about the books. Let's talk about what I've been reading now, what I plan to read for the, the rest of the month. So far this month has been really enjoyable. Currently right now I'm reading, uh, I'm continuing to finish Brandon Sanderson, Stormlight Archive, book number one, The Way of Kings. I'm loving this world so much it's so digestible i was intimidated by the length of the book the broad scope of the series how many characters the world i just wasn't sure i'd be able to um you know be ready for such a commitment but everyone is very excited for book number five coming out in december so i decided to jump on the bandwagon try and do one a month i'm a little bit slower in reading this month but i'm sure i'll catch up and i'm loving this book so far i actually really do uh regret not starting this earlier i've had a really good time in the cosmere i've read a bunch of stuff in the cosmere i've also read mistborn that was the first thing that i read by sanderson and i built my way up uh to the stormlight archive but i feel like i could have started this earlier and you know whatever i'm enjoying it now and i'm having a really good time that that book is supposed to be finished this month and I'm going to roll right into Words of Radiance. So Words of Radiance will be the priority for the rest of the month and I'm hoping to then uh, read, what is it, Oathbringer in October. Now this book is big. Um, I like to sometimes fit in some palate cleansers here and there, fit in some shorter books around these longer entries. So. I don't know exactly what I'll read around this, but this will definitely be the priority. And if this trickles into October a little bit, and then I start Oathbringer in the middle of October, that's all fine. So number one priority definitely remains Stormlight. In September, I read a couple good, well, I didn't read a whole lot in September. To be honest, September has been quite busy on the work front, family, planning for trips and all that stuff. So I didn't read as much as I normally would. I did have a DNF, unfortunately. This was provided as an arc by the publisher and I was excited to read this. I read about halfway through and decided it wasn't quite for me. It's marketed as a suburban horror. This uh, same sex couple move into this neighborhood and the HOA basically comes to their door, the housing association, and they try and recruit them. And the neighborhood is a little bit weird. It's not all that it's it's cracked up to be. It's a little bit too perfect. The children are acting kind of weird. The neighbors are a little bit nosy. People are peeping out of the windows. And the house itself feels weird. Like there's stuff going on. There's a bit of paranormal feeling to it. And it's definitely uh, interesting. Now, I liked the start of the book. And the first half, which is where I stopped, was pretty intriguing. I will say that the characters, I didn't love, there's a main character here, her and her wife. This main character was a little bit annoying. Her outlook on things was a little bit too pessimistic and too kind of just annoying. I didn't like the characters. I ended up becoming a little bit less invested than I was hoping to and surprised that that was the case because everything about this book sounds like it would be up my alley. I like paranormal horror, suburban horror, um, thrillers. I, I like this kind of, and for fall, it's my favorite season. You know, so we're in September, we're approaching October, Halloween's around the corner. Like this is exactly the kind of vibe that I was hoping. And the vibes are there, the atmosphere, all that stuff is there. It just wasn't hooking me the way that I thought. And I, I found myself reaching for other books every single time instead of picking this back up. So because of my schedule, it's a soft DNF. Will I, ch will, like, will I try it again? Maybe. I appreciate the arc. It wasn't quite for me. Won't really do a review, I don't think, necessarily on Goodreads, but we'll see. Maybe I'll try and finish this at some point because it reads very quickly just so I can get a review and put out some actual 
you know, comments on the entire reading experience if I do finish it. This book came out to market, I believe September 3rd. I got this like a week before that. So it didn't leave me a lot of time to get this read and do a proper review before uh, it comes out. But anyway, if, you, if you're if you interested in this kind of book, maybe give it a shot because I bet you this was a me problem and not a book problem. I also have been reading this book, which I really am enjoying and I'm about two thirds of the way through almost three quarters and I'm probably going to finish this very, very soon. This is The Measure. You've probably heard about it by Nikki El Ehrlich. This is kind of a, it's an idea book. It's a, it's a thought provoking existential idea, philosophical book. It's not deeply profound and philosophical, but it definitely gets you thinking. So what happens is one day everyone in the entire world wakes up to a box and there's a string in the box and they end up figuring out and proving actually scientifically and through research and the data that is collected that the string represents the length of your life. Not how much time you have left, but actually the length of your entire life. And so through deduction and through some research and some data collection, they're able to determine based on the length of one string, how much more time in this world you have. And that begs some questions and puts forth some interesting philosophical discussions and ideas about like what happens if you know how long you're going to live. And if some people are expected to live a lot shorter, um, should you be in charge of things, public office? Should you be in the military? If you're married to someone and you all of a sudden you find out that their life is going to be cut very short, does that change your perspective? Would you have children with someone like that? Would you get married? How would your own life change? And how would this information about your own life and those of your loved ones change how you act and change your perspective on things. It's a very interesting idea. I don't know where it's going precisely. I sort of have an idea. It weaves a lot of characters together and different storylines quite nicely. And again, just a nice palate cleanser, pretty short, nice thought provoking uh, idea book. And I hope that it ends well, because right now it's trending to be uh, quite enjoyable. Actually, I'm really enjoying it. And it's, com you know, it's, it's uh, complementing the epic, uh, you know, Stormlight books or whatever uh, quite nicely to be honest the epic fantasy the war epic it kind of balances that out as kind of just an easy thought-provoking palate cleanser book so I'm enjoying that that's kind of it on the book front on the channel we're nearing 3,000 subscribers and that is awesome I can't tell you how uh, amazing it is to come back after a, a bit of a hiatus not a bit a long hiatus from booktube it's been a couple months now two months almost and i've been welcomed back with open arms and uh enjoying dealing you know chatting with you guys and being in the comments and uh and all that stuff the recommendations it's just been really nice to be back that's all i have to say about that so we'll have to do something special when 3,000 subs rolls around maybe a live ask me anything maybe a giveaway something special to mark that occasion would be really sweet uh as i mentioned on the content side a little bit slim on videos this month because it's been a little bit extra busy i did put out a review on mike shackles we are the dead go check that out i had a really good time with that book excited for the rest of the trilogy to read them i have them on deck very excited to fit those in i don't exactly know uh when i'll be able to but sooner than later definitely because i'm intrigued i really enjoyed the world i felt compelled enough to do a review that's how much i liked it so that's going to be a priority um, basically I did my TBR for September. That was kind of it on the videos so far at the middle of September. So that's kind of it, but I will have some more videos to trickle out to you, uh, while I'm away and thereafter for the rest of the month, I have a few awesome tags to do. I'm not one that overly loves the book tags, but some of them are really good. And I have been tagged in a couple of really good ones. I recorded one, I need to record another one and I'll get those out and I'll sort of like slot those in around other videos as well. I do have my wrap up for August coming where I talk about the books that I read in August. Had a really good August. I participated in the um, Keymark, no, what is it called? The TBR Quest Readathon hosted over on the Keymark Discord. Link is in the description, hopefully if I remember. And yeah, so I had a really good time. I read a lot more than I usually do in August because of that readathon and the participation and, and taught my, by the way, my team, the Crystal Ballers, led under Madison Goodyear, we won as usual. Um, and so, yeah, we had a really good time. That was a good month. So my wrap up for August, it's a little late. I apologize, it's coming. I'm also gonna do my October TBR. October, like I said, probably this is gonna trickle into it. And then I'm gonna read as a priority, Oathbringer and that will trickle into November. November, hopefully I'll finish Rhythm of War. You get the idea. In terms of collabs, I was, 
fortunate enough to be on Joanna's channel at the probably in the middle of August, just after I would have released my August mid month update. So I didn't get to talk about it at that point. But I was on Joanna's channel with Brian at Belltube. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, amazing guy and Joanna, all the channels that I'm mentioning in the video will be linked in the description. So please go ahead and follow them if you haven't, but you probably know who I'm talking about if you're watching this video. But Brian, me and him got on like a house on fire and uh, he invited me onto his channel this month, a couple days ago, actually. Uh, and that was on for whom the bell tolls is his long form segment. And he had me on and we just got to know each other a little bit more. And he was super gracious as a host and asked me some really good questions. And we just had a great time as pals. I finally had Mike over at Mike's book reviews on my channel for a fireside chat. That was a long time coming. And uh, he's just he's just become a really good friend. Uh, I've been following and supporting his channel for quite a few years, basically since 2019, 2020. It was just a matter of time. He, he had me on his channel along with Tori back in the day, and I've just been waiting to return the favor. And uh, it was about time I got sick and we postponed that. So if you caught that one or watched it on a replay, thanks for joining us. That was awesome. And Jimmy, Jimmy uh, came on the channel the other day. And we had a blast. Uh, I love Jimmy. He is uh, just a good dude. I consider him a friend. We have a lot in common. A lot of our reading tastes align, but then we also diverge in a lot of areas. So it makes discussions with him super, super fun and interesting. So check that out if you haven't watched it yet. Check it out on the replay. And of course, if you don't know who Jimmy is, I don't know what rock you're living under. Hey, Editing Theo here. I totally forgot to mention that at the end of the month, on the 27th, I believe right now, of September. When I'm back from London, I'm going to have a live stream chat, fireside chat on my channel with two lovely ladies, Venus Escapes to Read and Fina Reads Josephine. Both the channels are linked in the description. Amazing channels. Please go check them out. Really good content, really good recommendations, all sorts of genres. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I forgot about that collab, but I am very excited for that. So yeah, go ahead and check them out. And uh, I look forward to that one. I'd like to end these segments with like shouting out some smaller booktube, booktube channels or just other booktube channels. And I had a couple written down, but I don't know where that list is. So right now I'm just going to say I'm shouting out some booktube channels that I'm enjoying. Please go ahead and check them out. I'm going to link those in a separate section down below in the description. So. These are all really good booktube channels to check out something um, people that you may not have seen or heard of. So please go ahead and look at the description. Check that out. Also, if I can ask you to subscribe, like, comment, you know, hit the bell notification so you can get notified when I post new videos. If you like videos like this and want more, it's free to do so. It helps the channel grow, helps push it to people that might enjoy content like this. I normally don't like to ask for that, especially at the beginning of videos, but if you've stuck around this long, maybe you found something of value and you enjoyed the video. So if you did do me a favor and do all that stuff, help the channel grow a little bit until next time, I'll catch you real soon on the next video. Thanks for hanging out today.